Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today we're probably doing something that it's not everybody's favorite. I know I do get <laughs> some emails and messages about the programming stuff, but after last video, whenever I did that Maltese cross and I went around the outside edge and I had to do all that sanding, I got several questions on how to alleviate that because people have been running into the same issue. And so I'm going to hope to address that and I'm going to show some other stuff about profile cuts and basically it's just going to help clear up some message or clear up some issues other people are having. Uh, if you wonder what I'm doing out in the shop today, today we are gluing up. I'm going to finish gluing up a couple of projects. It's going to be oak. I glue them up, get them cut to size, run them through the old handy thickness planer to make a nice smooth surface. So I'm going to finish that up and then I'm going to go do a programming video. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a fairly basic video. We'll be talking mainly about profile cuts. Uh, I'm just going to set up a piece of material here. We're going to go, uh, we'll just go with that 11 inch by 11 inch. Uh, material surface. We're set at center, so we're going to start in the center. Uh, as always, I'm on very high resolution. This is not something you have to do. You can do it at high which is makes the machine run just a little bit faster I just like for it to be as crisp as possible there so I'm hit OK so I'm going to come here and select the star tool I'm just going to drag me up a decent size star close so now we just have a nice little star here and then we're going to go over here to text. This is just to work with, give some ideas here. Drag it over here to center. There. Now we're going to put a circle around the B. There we go. Okay, this is all just kind of stuff to so we can play with the cutting. So we have all these things. We're going to run over to the cut. So the very first one here is profile cut. And what I was wanting to show you is when you click on, let's say we're just going to click on everything. You could do a profile of everything. Uh, generally don't. Letters usually come out with the V bit much better with the V carve. Uh, and whenever we do this profile cut you're going to understand. So we're going to click on the star first. And hit profile cut. So right here right off it's showing your start depth which is I'm gonna, I always use a zero. Uh, your cut depth 0.75 that will cut all the way through the material. We are actually going to come back to this and I'm going to actually do that here in a bit, but right for right now, we're just going to use 0.13. I'm using an eighth inch end mill. It's going to take two passes. So right down here. So whenever it says machine vectors outside right, that means this is going to go around the outside edge of that line. If I went inside left, it's going to go around the inside edge, which would put us really close to the edge of my circle. And if we did it on, it's just going to be exactly on that line, which would be safe enough. But for this one, we're going to go outside right. If you'll recall in the last video, I did the uh, Maltese cross. And I went around the edge, and it was too close, and I had to sand stuff down. Right here is what I was talking about the allowance offset. I could have set that up to a point one two or something and they would have left me a nice gap around it. I wouldn't have had to do it that sanding I did. For this purposes we're gonna leave it zero zero. We're not gonna add any tabs just yet and we're gonna go down here to calculate. 
So right there is just showing me the outside outline of the star. We're going to do preview selected. As you can see, I got the speed turned way up. I'm going to reset that preview for you. So right there it outlines it. Let's do a global feel on it. And so there we have a star. As you can see, cut down in a little bit of depth. So now then, we want to do something different on the circle. So now then, we'll click off that, click on your circle. Again, we're going to do profile. On this one, we're going to use the same depth. Eighth inch. But I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and switch this up. Let's go with my quarter inch in mill. So if I put a quarter inch in mill on the outside, we're probably going to collide right up here. Your tolerance is pretty close. So we could go inside, but we may get close to my B. So what we're going to try is on with the end mill on the uh, quarter inch. So we'll calculate it. Preview it. So perfect. See, we didn't hit up here in the corners. And that'll allow us to put our B in the middle of that. So now, like I said, on the B, we are just going to cheat and jump over here and use a half inch B bit. Calculate it. And that way I'll put us a nice little B in the middle of that. And there you go. So another little thing that I point out. So I do use Global Fill a lot because I don't care that they're on the same color. If you did not want that, come down here and pick on each selection and go to Toolpath, Color. So we'll do the star is red. on profile 2 we'll do that circle as let's just be patriotic we'll do it as white and we'll click on the B and tool path and we will make it blue okay so that is the basic basics of profile so now what I was saying is, we'll go back up here, we're going to re-highlight this star. We're going to hit Profile, Toolpath. We don't want the quarter inch, so we're going to go back and change it to your eighth inch. That's something you've really got to watch, is what, what size bit you're using, because you can really mess things up if you're not using the one you really want selected. We're going to go outside right on this one. We've already done that, so that's going to put us right in the same path. So we'll go down here to Allowance Offset, and let's just go with a point 0.2. It should bounce us just outside that line. We're going to change our depth to 3 quarter inch. Calculate. And you can see it shows that it's going to be just outside our existing line. Let's preview the tool path. Yeah, I don't, I don't even look to see how many passes it takes. It's probably about seven, and we don't guess. So as you can see right there, we left a little bit of lip around our first profile cut, but it would be a cutout star with an initial in the middle. Okay, so we're going to run over and do another quick one here. We're just going to close this one out. I'm going to create a new one. And this is the answer on questions I'm sure people already ask themselves why well, I did them one at a time. And on that one, mainly because one was a different depth and the other was a different size. So we're just going to play with some circles here. Okay. 
So we'll just put some circles. We're going to jump over. We're going to highlight them all. Profile cut. So we'll see again, we're at 0.75. Be sure to check that every time. Go to my old fallback, 0.13. We're going to use quarter inch in mill, or eighth inch in mill, I'm sorry, eighth inch. And for this purpose, we're just going to go ahead and go on the line. So we'll be directly on the line. So that's exactly what it'll look like. We're not going to do any offset. And we are going to go ahead and cut this out simply because, well, we're going to go ahead and cut it out and I'll show you because I'm going to show you how to do some tool, some uh, tabs. It's something we hadn't really been over and definitely have to have. Okay, so right there you can see all my tool paths. Let's go ahead and preview the selected. And so as you can see, it simply cuts those. So they're, they're all cut. And you just did them on one tool path. So this was estimated, that would be six minutes to do that little design. So now then, we're going to go ahead and do a cutout on this. So we're going to 2D view. Let's select only the outside line. Let's profile cut. We're going to go outside right. Let's go ahead and give that point 0.1 so it won't get into our actual first cut. Add tabs. Edit tabs. Okay, so what this is going to do is put little tabs on the outside of this so when you cut it out, it holds in place to the border wood out here, this outside edge wood. If you do not use tabs and you do a cutout, whenever you get near that last one, this middle part will just start flopping, wobbling, shaking around, and it's probably going to cause a small disaster. So tabs are necessary. So right now it says, right now I have one tab. So we're going to do it with four. We're going to add the tabs. As you can see, my tabs are placed right here. If you don't like the location of your tab, say it's in a critical curve, you can move them. Just pick them, just drag them wherever you want them. Right now, I like the location of those. And then we're going to have four of them. That's going to be plenty to hold this. We're going to close. We're going to run home down and calculate it. So it's showing us just outside. And preview the select. And you can see right there, it's missing my little areas here. Does anybody know what I just did? I just did that after telling you to check this every time. And just that easy, I messed it up. So we're going to run up here. 0.75, we want the thickness of our material. So we'll run right back through that outside right. 0.1. We're going to add some tabs. Edit them. Four. Okay, close. Calculate it. So it's going around, and I'm going to show you something with that too. We can actually go ahead and delete profile number four when we get done here. All right, so right here you can see it left tabs on all those places. So this is still attached to that. And that's where I used to be taking my jigsaw and just hitting those tabs and cutting it loose. So you saw right there, I messed her up. I didn't go up and change my cut depth on the profile. So we're going to go to this profile, because we know that's that one where I've messed up. Right click on it. We're going to delete this. That profile's gone. So we deleted that. And now, whenever this was run, this would do the first profile, which would do all these center circles and that outer edge circle. And then it would go right to this profile, which would do the full thickness cut. That other one is now gone, and so we wouldn't have to do that twice. 
So that's about it for profile cuts. I mean, it's a very, very useful tool. I use it on a lot of my projects. And I hope this helped y'all out. Well, guys, that was it. That was uh, pretty much just profiles as I use them. And like I said, I'm not an expert teacher about this stuff, but that's how I use them and the different ways you can use those things and how to do the offsets. And I wish I could say that was a brilliant act and that, oh, I messed up and had to go back and redo that one part. What an act. I just flat missed it and had to go back and redo that one part and erase the other one. But it happens. I mean, that, and that's really how it goes whenever I do it is I have to go back and erase the section and it works fine. So in case you're wondering, the little project I was doing when we started, that's what they come out looking like after I've planed and sanded the, all the boards are glued together. That'll be good for the upcoming video here in a few days. If you guys haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.